Warning, this content is rated for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is brought to you by Hydro Bucket. Use discount code 10 from Ben and save 10% on any order at the hydrobucket.com. This series is also sponsored by Post Grow. Use discount code 5 from Ben and save 5% on any order at postgrow.com. If you've never grown before or you've never tried DWC, I created this series specifically for you. I'm going to show you how to set up a simple, smart system that gives you everything you need for a successful first run. I know DWC can be intimidating. All of these meters and pumps and data, but I'm gonna show you how simple it really is when you've got the right tools in your arsenal. This is the Hydro Bucket. It has a removable cover for easy water changes and pH checks. And the slits in the cover make it easy to route both your airline and your res kit wiring neatly. More on that later. But as you can see, this is a very simple setup. It does not take much. You don't need anything fancy. Any decent tent, light, and fan will do. This is a very basic light. We're using one hydro bucket. Uh, this is a very cheap hygrometer that I picked up off of Amazon. It's fine for a rough idea, but if you really wanna know what's happening and when to act, that's when the res kit by Post Grow is gonna come in. This hygrometer is simply going to tell me what the temperature is and the humidity in this tent, which you can see the humidity is extremely low. I probably should add a humidifier. This girl is extremely sad right now. And so it is the next day. Uh, you can see I did add a humidifier. I'm gonna add a little bit more water in it, but I'm gonna let it do its thing. Hopefully we can get these numbers up. It is the next day. What she's looking like. I do have this fan I'll uh, oscillate you right now. And I did turn it up to uh, three. That is the old Vivo Sun fan. The, uh, can't remember the name of it. This is the first version though, so. Metri Grow Light, 100 watt. Hydro bucket, random humidifier, random hy hygrometer. Let's go. And so here we have the Post Grow, the app on the Android's Play Store. And so I'll go ahead and open it up and it'll show all of my different devices that I have available. And these bottom two are what uh, actually matter for this particular series. So you can see I can monitor my pH, which is right here, sitting at 5.9 my temperature which is sitting at 73 degrees which is this is the temperature inside of the bucket and then this is my ec or my ppm and so with this app i'm able to monitor what is going on inside of my dwc bucket anywhere i am in the world at any time that's amazing and so here I am opening or doing the unboxing for my post grow uh, itemized product that uh, box that they sent me. They sent me a bunch of stuff. And as I'm going through this box, I consider myself a fairly smart person. But I came to the realization that I have no idea what any of this is or how to use it in this moment. I know what it's used for, but I don't know where to start and where to end. Also, I know this about myself. I'm one of those people who just don't like to read instructions. And so I did set up a Zoom meeting and I do believe this is available for all post grow customers. So if you are in doubt, uh, reach out to them. They have an amazing team. They'll be happy to help you. And yeah, just take it from there. A light timer. Right. right. Your day and night. If the lights are on or off at the wrong time, maybe I fucked up the timer. Maybe the relay is stuck. Whatever it might be, you know, you grow long enough, you, you run into these issues. Right. Right. So this is your insurance policy. 
you set all the settings the way you want them, and then you know you'll get a text if the rules are violated, and that way you can make a change before you come back to you know. Uh, a, cr a crop loss as we would call it wow all right so he showed me how to set up the res kit what i have is an extension cord <coughs> excuse me so this is an extension cord comes down oh, goes down to the end uh i did i did end up connecting a t connector to the end of this and so what I'm going to do is take the temp and the EC. Uh, this is the EC monitor. And this is the end. And I'll plug this in to that end. And the temp. No, nope, that's the Post Pro. Okay, here's the temperature monitor. So the temperature monitor, or the P pH, is the pH monitor. So, yeah, I assume I have to take this off. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not dumb. I know what a pH pin looks like, so I know I have to take this off. Let's do it now. All right, so this is the sensor for the pH. All right. First things first, let's set up the Post Hub Res Kit. So here's the thing I love about these hydro buckets. Just about any other bucket, this will be an issue. But with this bucket, we're just gonna drop that bad boy right in there. This is the uh, T connector that comes from the post hub. Uh, this is the extension cord, and then the T connector. And then this is the connector to the P, yeah, the pH uh, reader. I'm just gonna connect it right there, as you can see. Just connect that like to find it. There it is. Slide it in and then just twist. Righty tighty. So here's the EC monitor. Big giant probe. And once again, we'll do the same thing. Just throw that bad boy just like that down there. Wrap this, uh, send this wire on out. But these two wires should be. This is because this is how the hydro bucket kit has these slots. So we're gonna put these two over here, and this is the airline right here. Just, just like that. And that's it. That's why I love Hydro Bucket. 10 from Ben, save you 10%. All right. So these are Blue Apple Seeds. These came as a freebie from Square One Genetics when I had purchased a bundle uh, about two years ago. They are an F1 cross of Apple Fritter and Blueberry Fritter. Uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, I did grow uh, some Blueberry Fritter by Square One Genetics uh, about a year ago. Uh, it was actually amazing, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. And so how I germinate my seeds, I simply have a solo cup with some plain water. Uh, no pH, no supplements, no nutrients, just plain water. I'll take a seed and drop it in the water like you just saw me do. I will take these other two and put them back in our storage unit. Uh, wherever you store your seeds, I put mine in the refrigerator, in the crisper, in the fridge. And then we'll just let this seed take its time, and whether it takes 24 or 48 hours or 36 hours or however long it takes. You want to put this in the dark and let it uh, just remain in the dark until the tail pops out of the seed. And then at that point, it'll be ready to plant in uh, some soil if that's what you're using. I run DWC, so we're using plugs 
as you can see there is a plug right here in the lid of the hydro bucket and usually uh, plugs come in all different forms I have rapid routers that's usually what I go to but hydro bucket has its own proprietary plug uh, that fits perfectly in the hydro lid and that's what we're using so this is my nutrient this is my nutrient schedule uh, and usually I start out with uh, some flora micro that'll be the first thing I add She's so tiny. Usually I would go with five milliliters of each in a five gallon bucket. As uh, you can see on my website, benchasing.store, and then you see the tab says nutrient schedule. You'll see it says uh, five milliliters for every five uh, gallon bucket for each bottle. And that is my usual thing, if you will, but I don't know. 17 days from seed 17 17 days from seed and she's tiny yeah she's tiny uh, barely I mean the roots you know I would like to see more action so um, like I said what what normally would be five milliliters of each we're just gonna do three so like i said i start with flora micro give it a good shake uh take a good syringe you can see the notches somewhere we're gonna land somewhere around there in the middle of these two lines right here so somewhere around there to give it three milliliters and uh we'll have our stir a spoon we'll mix it up real good uh, the next thing I'll add is the cow mag. We're going to do this. I think, I think I'll add five milliliters of this. Uh, that is why I say, you know, test things out. Even on my website, where you see my nutrient schedule, it says, you know, this is going to be based on stress and things like that. So if your plant is showing different types of results, you want to make sure that you change things to see what the result might be. You got to test things out and experiment. That's how I learned all of these things that I learned. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Like I said, we're going to do three milliliters of this, uh, five milliliters of this, three milliliters of this, three milliliters of this. Uh, this is always good. So we're going to do five milliliters of this Get it in good shape, five milliliters, but a cap full of this orca is five milliliters so you fill up the cap full and just throw it in there and that'll work out fine and we're going to do three milliliters of this uh, silica boost silica boost is to thicken up the stems make this plant strong that way at the end of when we actually get to flower it's strong and the buds are nice and dense hard i like hard nice buds all right let me uh feed this girl i'll be back heavy hands i was reaching for light every loss felt light i was deep in the fight every scar on my skin is just a story all right so this is my screen let's see all right Yep, it looks good. So this is my screen on the Post app. This is the sensor. This is actually my computer screen. This is the sensor uh, in my DW, in my hydro bucket, my DWC bucket. And as you can see, the EC or the PPM just spiked up a little. Right here it's at 242. And then uh, that was at 12.14 in the morning. And at 12.17 in the morning, it is at 3.45 ppm. And all I did was I just added 3 milliliters of Flora Micro. So, we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more. 5 more bottles to add. Let's watch it spike together. 
All right, and that's it. Let's see, what are we looking at? 552 ppm is what it says, what it says. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I think I should add some water. See if I can add some water and then we'll uh, take it from there. All right, so it is the next day and that is what the uh, temperature and the humidity is reading at this point. Nothing much. Nothing much has changed. Let's see how much has been used. <laughs> how much water has been used. It is humidifier. And uh, we'll see what she looks like in the next video. Buckets of rain, bitch, I'm rooted in the deep. Still I rise, what I sow I keep Buckets of pain, but these seats don't sleep In the water, what I learn I teach uh, Buckets of rain, bitch, I'm rooted in the deep Turn pain into lessons and the lessons into seed From a crack in concrete where they said I couldn't be Now the roots run wild all because I have belief I remember growing up, blocks of government cheese Now we buy the blocks back all because I split beans Section 8 walls couldn't cage what I seen Black buckets in the dark Turned pain into green I wrote a book on it Pages heavy with the truth Been chasing bestseller Proof of what the roots can do Hood child with a vision Built a garden in the booth Every bucket overflow Every harvest is the proof Pain was a teacher But the water made it grow Knowledge in the bucket Now I let my people know Took the struggle, made a brand Every seed is in the flow And I'm still evolving Can you predict where I'ma go? From the storm to the stage Every drop was in the plan Every loss was an ingredient It fed what I began Buckets of rain, I became my own man And the roots are still digging all where the future stands Buckets of rain, bitch, I'm rooted in the deep Still I rise, what I sow, I keep Buckets of pain, but these seeds don't sleep In the water, what I learn, I teach uh, Yeah, buckets of rain still poor, but I welcome the flood Seen the envy in their eyes when I rose from the mud Turn a whisper to a brand, every doubt to a bud Not a root so strong, they could weather the blood Used to count on my hands what was left in the jar. Not a number's too big, just a measuring bars. I gave game to these niggas even though they was hating. Showed them how to plant seeds and I never was faking. From the hood where the lights cut and winters is long. Where the nights taught you patience and the hunger was strong. I became what I needed just by proving them wrong. Now the buckets overflowing in the verses and songs. Pain still a partner, but I dance when it comes.